Good evening, Money and Life Movement. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back. Welcome back to Advocacy Friday. I almost said welcome back again. Before we uh, before we get on with the blog post with the blog post segment, let me um, let me what you call this? Let's be clear, all right? Instagram. Let's be clear. Let's be clear on the schedule of uh, of Advocacy of season two. The schedule will be every um, will every will be every second and last Friday of the month, right? Season two will be every second and last Friday of the month. Because, well, if you didn't catch up or decide not to um, decide not to finish the live stream with me, I will always release a recap. Oh, not not exactly a recap. But a um, rewind, but a rewind version of the live stream one week after. So doing it on the second, on the second and uh, last Friday of the month enables me now to, to do editing on the original live stream. So on to the blog post segment. This blog post. Um, I wrote this one during the um, during the early part of my of my brand building. Specifically, well, to be exact, December 2018, I wrote this post. It's entitled "My Own Guide to Time Freedom." Right? <clears throat> there have been a lot of blog posts. Well, I hate to disappoint you guys. I hate to disappoint the main open on this. There is no definite guide to time freedom. To each his own. To each his own. Okay. But the backstory is like this. Well, if you haven't if you haven't read the, the blog post itself, link in the description right now. You can go there now. So well. I have um, I've been a victim of uh, victim of time management problems all throughout my all throughout my life. Not exactly my uh, not exactly my brand building career or my or even my network marketing career, but it worsened during the early years of my network marketing career. It actually worsened. Now, if you can if you can read the backstory. Again, link in the description. It's there. Basically, what I realized that, or I realized during the early part of my of my network marketing journey, is this: if you are constrained, if your time is constrained, there's a uh, there's a slim to none chance that you can build a business. Okay. Now. Never mark a never marketing business isn't uh, never marketing is it's no exception with this. All right, it is no exception. Believe me. <clears throat> so, no matter how much money you make, if you're if you got too constrained, if you're too constrained when it comes to time, Don't expect long-term success in your business or even in your life. Okay. I developed a four-step guide towards time freedom in that post. <clears throat> now, like I always say, results may vary. And I strongly encourage you, you, to build your own guide. This is my guide. Okay. So it has worked for me. But I am not sure it's it's going to work for you too. So, step number one: decide to go for time freedom. Massive action only takes one decision, right? It doesn't. Well, massive action is a very is a very big word. Okay, it's a very big word, but it only takes one. One decision to to get into that. You only take you only, you'll only take to decide once. 
Shall I take massive action on this? Shall I take massive action on that? It's either yes or no. It's a yes or no thing. Massive action. Because, but massive action is the thing you need to, to start off on uh, on your, not exactly a fight, on your journey to time freedom. Because it take because it really takes that much action, and it, but that much action that much action sorry sorry that much action takes only one decision. You only have to decide once and quickly, because well, if you're constrained, if you have time constraints, obviously time is not on your side. So decide quickly. Step two. Use a vehicle to help you on this. Mine are schedulers. Okay. Now I repeat, whatever action, whatever action I took for my for for me to achieve time freedom may not work for you. Okay. These are these are what worked for me, but I am not sure if it's going to work for you. So use a vehicle to help you to look to look for a vehicle to help you with that. Mine are schedulers, like uh, my the early part of my brand building is Planoly and later, Planoly later and even Buffer, but Salmon on later has been more uh, has, has been more efficient for me. Yeah, you know what happened in tw early twenty nineteen. Instagram, uh, Instagram cracked down on third party third party apps, even the legit ones, even the legit ones. Uh, I had to, I had to jump from account from from account to account to account. Okay? It forced me to um, uh, what you call this? Settle for the account I have now for in Instagram. So as a lesson, I did not uh, use schedulers on it, but I had a more efficient system. I had a more efficient way, a more efficient way of posting uh, whatever, uh, posting on my feed, posting on stories. Over the course of time, Instagram is now my main, uh, what you call this, my uh well, main funnel so to speak funnel i don't actually have a funnel all right <laughs> i don't actually have a funnel you have to use uh you have to look for a vehicle that will suit your uh needs on for your journey you have to look for something that would be your essential right there there, there goes the pandemic reference there goes the pandemic reference again. I now use later for Pinterest and Twitter, okay? especially Twitter campaigns. Okay, they, it, later is so effective. Now, if you want, uh, if you want, if you want to experience later again, link in the description. Okay? I also use other vehicles like Google Calendar. Well, to plan out, to plan out the of the social media engagements and of course well since since this is a crazy time right now i'm i'm at home most often uh i tend to um well make you make the most of make the most out of my time by watching more youtube videos about health uh, business um, following other more established social media gurus. So that's my vehicle right now. But whatever, but whatever works for me may not work for you. Okay? I am telling you, if I, have, if I have to repeat myself on that, I will. Okay? These are my, this is my guide. It may not be yours. Step three, abuse. Step number two. Okay. Whether it be free or paid, you just got to abuse that. You just got to abuse step number two. Because, well, bottom line, 
<clears throat> in order to achieve time freedom, you have to use vehicles. You have to use vehicles. You can't do it. Uh, the days of doing it manually, they've, they've been long gone since the 80s. Uh, at least the mid-90s. They've been long gone since the mid-90s. Since the birth of the internet, actually. Since the birth of the internet. So you got to use those vehicles to the hilt. Okay? You have to abuse every feature it has. You have to use it to your advantage. Use it to whatever advantage you currently have. That's why I said step three is to abuse step number two. Finally, step four. Enjoy your personal life. Do I need to explain that? Because after you have grinded through those three steps, you've automated some things, you have, uh, what's called this? You have scheduled your posts, you have scheduled your videos, you have scheduled your live streams. The only that the, I, I wasn't, well, there's no means to schedule, there's no means to schedule your Instagram live, but you, but this, but this one, the YouTube part, I've already scheduled that. So I know when. So you you got to know when. In order for you, because if you, have, uh, if you have schedulers, you remain consistent. It will help you be consistent with your brand or business. So if you're consistent with that, then step number four is very easy. You get to live your personal life now. You get to, um, well, you get to do other things. You get to do the things that uh, that interest you the most or that makes you happy, right? Like this. Hmm? I have a second channel now, which is anime related. I do episode reviews there every, every weekend. So I get to make quick videos of that every, well, I cry it all every Sunday <laughs> because Sunday is anime day for me. Uh, I binge watch. I binge watch the latest animes. I binge watch. Uh, no, I start binge watching anime uh, Saturday evening. Saturday evening is reserved for the classics. Okay, the ones I grew up, the ones I grew up watching. Then Sunday, of course, new animes. That's when I watch all of them, the latest episodes. So I also get. I also make videos on the otaku lifestyle. Okay, because being an otaku is one of my passions. It makes me happy. It keeps me sane. All right? With all the insanity that is going on right now, online or offline, you will need to get to your person. You need to have your personal life in order. All right? So after you grind grinded it out with the, uh, with the first three steps, step number four, I tell you, is the easiest. your passion is food well do food if your passion is well just uh chilling out in your room like i do <laughs> do it right? because you because you've already um because you've already done the first three steps right you've already scheduled your uh your live streams your youtube videos your instagram posts your pins your your twitter campaigns You now free yourself up for the things that matter. Enjoying step number four uh, is, is the goal for my guide. So you have to grind it out with those three. I have to grind out with those grind it out with those three steps. Okay? You work smart, you work hard. So when you reach step four, it's easy. It's really easy. So you get to remember your parents' birthday. You get to remember your dad's death anniversary. You get to um, you get to reminisce. This new normal we're in, this new normal we're in, is slowly teaching me on how to enjoy your person. How to, uh, oh, it's making me redo my step four. It's actually making me redo my step four. I still have a personal life. I still have friends. I still have friends from different generations, actually. Not a, 
I don't have that many Gen Xer friends right now. My friends are mostly millennials. My friends are mostly millennials right now. Because, well, uh, I don't know if they want to they want to learn the finer points of life from me because I am older. <laughs> because I am older. I'm, a, I'm from a different generation. So that's how I live step. That's how I live my step four. That's how I do my step four. So in conclusion, Again, link my blog post, link in the description. Doing any business, okay? Doing any business is difficult. Most especially now in these trying times. I am so glad I'm going, this is, this is the first post I'm going to discuss uh, in season two of Advocacy Friday because it is so relevant right now. It is so fucking relevant. Building, much less running a business these days, is at its most difficult. It's at its hardest. Prioritize time freedom right now. Okay? Towards time freedom, for me, even, even when I wrote that post two years ago, it's essential. Okay? It is the most essential thing you should have. You should have a step-by-step -step guide towards time freedom. If you got time in your hands, money is easy. Money is easy to acquire. 